at that title right That is a really Look at that, he is even faster than my internet Hi guys, welcome to the second edition of Secrets of the Battleground. Now, everyone knows that Mobile Legends is a 5 vs 5 game. But sometimes that can change and the 6 vs 5 battle will break out. Yep, you guessed it, the 6 teammate is actually Lord. After taking down this huge boss monster, he will join up with you and help you claim the victory in no time. In many close games, Lord can make the difference between victory and defeat. So today I will teach you how to use Lord like the pros to seal the win. Although Lord can give you huge advantage, the timing must be right, so there are several points you need to pay extra attention to when going for Lord. Vision Control Even though Lord can grant you a great opportunity, you need to be careful. Lord can help you win quickly, but if the opposing team finds out you're attacking Lord, it's a great chance for them to launch an attack. If a Lord kill is snatched by the enemy team, it will give them time to build an advantage. So how can you prevent this from happening? Let's check out some MIA tournament gameplay to see how it's done. In their first tournament match against AOD, MIA had a clear advantage. At this point, they choose to let Roger fight the Lord solo. The remaining four players entered the brush to secure vision control. Sha was immediately slain when he came to scout. They hold off the enemy team preventing them from spotting Roger and eventually the Lord is won. With the Lord's help they take down AOD's last bottom lane tower with their next push. So when attacking a Lord, if none of the enemy players are dead you can't determine their position. Avoid initiating a full team assault on Lord, let two or three people fight Lord while the remaining players gain vision control. This will greatly minimize the risk involved. When you are at the disadvantage taking the Lord isn't easy. At this point the enemy team has better gear than you and it will take you longer to take the Lord down. If they discover you, your teammates will be killed too easily and the enemy team will snatch the Lord. So unless you have a particularly good opportunity, it's best that you avoid initiating attacking the Lord. Instead, look for an opportunity when the opponents are attacking the Lord. In MIA's MPL round match 1 against MCB, MIA found themselves lacking when behind MCB, but they caught their opponents attacking the Lord at the bad time. Carry got the quarter kill and they took Lord. This turned the tide of the game and their fed carry helped them to win the match. The sooner you take down a lord, the bigger the advantage you will get. The experience and gold grants by lord is fixed, so taking down lord in the early games grants you relatively large rewards. In this example, where MPC faced OBS with the 4 players in the bottom lane, Hayabusa can see that the entire enemy team is gathered in the top lane. So, the 4 players at the bottom started attacking the Lord, to help their team gain the bigger lead. Early on, Lords are more difficult to deal with, so when you meet the following conditions, the enemy team is all together and far from the Lord. Your team's damage is enough to kill the Lord quickly, only then can you guarantee that you won't be interrupted mid-fight. Taking a Lord as soon as possible is a good strategy. But how can you rush a Lord? We summed up a few tips for you. Well, let me introduce you to two items, the Demon Hunter Sword and the Glowing Wand. Two different heroes can have this item equipped during a game. Mage, Glowing Wand, Jungler, Demon Hunter Sword. Because their passive deals damage based on the percentage of the target's HP and Lord have up to 
20,000 HP. When used together, these two items can deal a huge amount of damage to Lord. As you can see here, Moscow has the Demon Hunter Sword. A single basic attack deals 294 damage to Lord. The Demon Hunter Sword passive also deals 60 additional damage. This means it increased each basic attack by almost 20%, and this item's attributes are also very versatile. Every ADC can grab this item early on. Some assassins can also take this item. Take note that this item's passive is capped at 60 damage against monsters. When it comes to caster, the best option is the glowing wand. This item's passive makes your skill deal damage based on the percent of the target's HP. This is amazing when facing Lord with 20,000 HP. You can easily reach up to 100 damage per tick against Lord. Skill damage early on is only 300 or so. And this passive ticks 3 times over 3 seconds, so the total damage it deals can be greater than your actual skill damage. Apart from items, there are also other ways to deal with Lord. The Lord's attack and HP are both high, but he also has some obvious shortcomings. Every 6 seconds, he fires projectiles around you. There's a little delay when this happens, so you can avoid it by moving in time. Just dodge the projectiles and you avoid taking massive damage. This will give you more time to focus on dealing damage and is a crucial strategy against a lord. It will greatly improve your efficiency when taking on a lord. The second point to remember is that lords can also subsequently be crowd control. So, if your team has a lot of control skills available, you notice that defeating Lord is significantly easier. This is the key to snagging a Lord in the early game. We recommend using Adora, Minotaur and similar heroes. These heroes are quite strong in the current version and they also have control skills you can use against Lords. In addition to these two points we just covered, battle spells are also very important when fighting Lords. And with the new version, new features come into play. After activating a hero lock mod, press and hold retribution near the Lord. This spell is the best saint for Lord and Turtles. It's also very useful when in the middle of a team fight near a Lord. Give it a try! After grabbing a Lord, you can choose the following fight alongside him or use the Lord to initiate a 5-1 split push. You find that doing this often helps you take down a couple of towers or even take down the enemy base. So, after watching this video, do you feel you understand Lords a little more? Jump into a game and put your newfound techniques into practice.